how long must Arlington wait in order to stop the sickening flow of raw sewage into the Alewife Brook? Hello, I'm Summer Maxwell. And I'm Amanda Lucius. So glad you could join us. It's no secret that the Alewife Brook has become an open sewer, a dead zone that allows the state, Cambridge, and Somerville to dump raw waste when sewage overflows occur. For 25 years, the state has issued several so-called temporary variances to allow those parties to do something and find solutions to these combined sewage overflows. Still, raw sewage continues to pour into this once pristine waterway. And now, once again, the state is considering another five-year variance this August. Members of the grassroots group Save the Alewife Brook told me Somerville, Cambridge, and the state are adverse to spending any money at all to fix this problem, that they have other priorities, and saving our Alewife Brook is not one of them. The Alewife Brook is one of 50 remaining combined sewage overflows, or CSOs, in the Boston area. These were constructed in the 1920s and 30s to prevent sewage backups into homes during heavy rainfall or flooding. While most CSOs are regularly monitored for quality, this one emits around 51 million gallons of untreated sewage every year. That's 44 million gallons over the permitted limit. How is this possible? The Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection has been waiving water quality standards for the past 25 years, supposedly while projects eliminating or reducing CSO waste were being designed. So far, Arlington hasn't seen any changes. The MWRA has always been very clear that they want to downgrade the water quality of the Alewife Brook so it's unnecessary for them to meet the treatment standards that would protect the health of this community. For 39 years, they've had the obligation to clean up all these water quality problems, but we don't see the benefits of a cleaner Alewife Brook because they haven't done the job here. The permit that has been allowing the MWRA to delay employing a more permanent solution to clean up this ancient brook is set to expire August 30th of this year, which is why the state is asking for yet another five-year extension when the current variance runs out. If that happens, you can be sure the putrid smells and the potentially dangerous health hazards will continue. What the entities that have the CSOs have told us is they're gonna do nothing new for the next five years. So we'll have the same um, sewage going into the brook for the next five years. The conditions which are in DEP's draft variants are insufficient to protect the health of people living in Arlington. I think that's a major concern. Members of Save the Alewife Brook say the state's reluctance to take action appears to be financial. As of now, dealing with the CSO and the Alewife Brook is not even part of the current budget. The only reason this variance is uh, even being considered is because they're uh, for saving cost. The dischargers, MWRA, the city of Cambridge, and the city of Somerville, who own this uh, outfall right behind us, really are adverse to spending any money at all on treatment of CSOs. They have other priorities, and this is obviously not one of them. Save the Alewife Brook is working to prevent or change the upcoming variants to include stricter water quality standards, filters, and hazard warning systems around active CSOs. One of the things that um, we're asking from DEP is that there would be additional controls here at Boom, and that a, the permittee, the city of Somerville, would be required to periodically clean this area mm. because this is uh, a byproduct of the discharges of this outfall. Well, if you're going to issue another variance, you need them to do things now to, number one, reduce the amount of sewage that goes into the brook over the course of the five years, and number two, put up actual warning beacons or signs so that when the CSOs go off, you can have a sign here on the path that says the CSO is going off now, don't go in the water, and a sign on the path that says don't walk through the water on the path because it's contaminated with human and industrial waste. On April 9th, concerned residents met with the Mass DEP in a virtual public hearing to demand Cambridge, Somerville, and the MWRA to reduce CSO sewage discharges now. There were many, many people who came. People were outraged that they would issue another variance. People talked about what the brook meant to them, how important it was, and how unacceptable it was 
that untreated human and industrial waste continue to be dumped and that MWA, Cambridge and Somerville basically use Alewife Brook as an overflow sewer for their human and industrial wastewater. Following the public hearing, MassDEP opened a 45-day comment period to the community. After reviewing the comments, a final determination will be made on the variance sometime in the summer. We hope they either will not issue the variance or if they issue the variance, they will put some really strong conditions into the variance that will at least start us down a path to end the sewage dumping in the brook. For ACMI News, I'm Amanda Lucius. To clarify, 51 million gallons of untreated sewage were dumped in the Alewife Brook three years ago. Now, we did hear back from the MWRA in an email. It says in part, since its creation, the authority has spent over $900 million to reduce CSO volumes by almost 90% across the service area. $108 million has been spent on the Alewife Brook and Mystic River, where flows have been reduced by 77% and 41% respectively. We are proud of the progress that has been made, but recognize that there is more work to be done. To find out more on what you can do to help fix this ongoing environmental problem, go to the group's website, savethealewifebrook.org. Again, that's savethealewifebrook.org. <laughs>